In this video, we'll look at how to download and install Oracle 19C on Windows system. Uh, let's get started. So first we'll download Oracle 19C. So for that, let's open our Chrome browser. And here in the search bar, search for Oracle database download. So once you search for this one, uh, in the first search result, you will see this Oracle database download. So just click on it. So in the next page, uh, you, you will see the latest version of Oracle. So right now we can see Oracle uh, 19C as a latest version. So in case in future, if Oracle released a new database, so in that case, probably this Oracle 19C will be available uh, somewhere here. So here also you can see this Oracle uh, 18C and 11C, the older version of Oracle. So now let's scroll up and here for this downloading oracle uh, 19c here you can see this oracle solaris and here you can see this uh, microsoft windows 64 bit so we're gonna install on this windows 64 bit so the, here we have the zip file so just click on it for downloading this oracle 19c so when you click on this one uh, you have to accept this uh, Oracle license agreement. So check that and click on this download. So in the next page, it will ask you to log in into Oracle account. So if you don't have Oracle account, so here you have this uh, create Oracle account. So just click on it. So in the uh, new tab, you have to enter your email ID, password, and then are the rest of the details so once you fill up all the information and you just click on create the account so that way you can create your oracle account so once so i already have my oracle account so let me log in with my oracle account so once you sign in automatically it will start the download for you so here you can see this my download is already started so it's a big file so it will take some time so we wait till the download is completed and we'll resume this video after download is completed. So it's look like our download is completed. So let's go to the download folder. And here you can see your uh, downloaded file. So now in the next step, what you have to do, you have to copy the zip file and place somewhere you want to install. So what happened uh, when you unzip this one, it will have uh, the exe file and you start your uh, installation using that exe file and your db home will be set as current directory. So uh, what we have to do, just uh, create one folder inside the c directory and probably you can create some folder, something like oracle uh, 19c and inside that uh, let's uh, let's copy this file so our downloaded zip file is copied so what we did we copied this uh, downloaded file uh, from this download folder and created this uh, oracle 19c inside my c drive and pasted this uh, zip file so now and in the next step let's extract the zip file and say okay so our extraction process is completed so we'll take almost five to ten minutes based on your windows configuration so now let's go inside this folder and when you scroll down at somewhere bottom you will see this uh, setup.exe files so now let's start our installation process so for that I just double click on this setup.exe and say yes so your installation process will start so it's look like uh, we had uh, some issue with uh, starting the installation so what I found is that uh, the folder which you created uh, if it has any space it will create the problem so what i did is 
I removed the space and I made it the uh, the folder called Oracle underscore nineteen C. And now let's again start the installation. So now you can see the installation is started. So it's launching this Oracle database set of wizard. So in the first option, it says create and configure a single instant database or uh, set up the software only. So we'll go with the first one, the default one and click on next. So here in the next uh, option, we have something called desktop class and service class. So we are installing our uh, normal office user laptop. So we go with the desktop class and click on next. So here you have different options to, you know, create some Windows uh, account. So here in the first one, you have this use virtual account, then existing Windows user, create a new Windows user. So all this uh, account is used, you know, to set down the start your Oracle service. But we go with this use Windows built-in account, so we don't need to bother about any other extra accounts. And uh, click click the fourth one, uh, fourth one, the last one, and just simply click on the next and yeah see so continue yes so here these are the some options so the first one it says is uh, the base location so here let's drop down so here i think the by default it uh, took this where we unzip our uh, zip files so that's why i uh, we copied uh, this uh, zip file under oracle 19c and then you have this uh, the data field file location which is inside this our uh, db home folder then this database edition is go with the enterprise edition and all this win then we have this global uh, database name so by default it says orca let's copy this the name so we don't forget make sure you copy or make a note of this so what is that it's a db name so I say DB name is Oracle CL and then uh, we have to set the password. So let's go with the same one ORCL ORCL. So we set the password as well. So let's make a note the password is ORCL. Hmm. And here you have this pluggable database which is nothing but or CLPDB so PDB is this one and click on next or oh, maybe something wrong with this one ORCL ORCL and click on next uh, let's go with this yes so it is checking the pre, uh, prerequisites for this Oracle 19C. Now I think I'll show you all the checks are completed and just hit the install. So you have to, so finally your Oracle 19C installation will start and yeah will take some time based on your uh, the system configuration and we will wait till this installation process completed. So right now, if we look at the progress of this R setup, so it is almost 57% uh, completed and we can see this right now, this Oracle database configuration process is in progress. Same time, we can see this Oracle database conf configuration assistance is also in progress. So yeah, it's a quite heavy uh, software which will take uh, maybe uh, 40 to 60 minutes based on your Windows uh, system configuration so now our uh, oracle database installation process is completed and here you can see this url through which you can access your database so now let's make a note of this one as well so let me copy this and put in our note so this is the url and just click on the close now let's go to the url so for that let's open our chrome browser and here enter that url 
and go to it once and proceed to local unsafe. So now let's log in into this Oracle portal. So for that, the username uh, by default, you gonna use the system and the password which we set for our installation. So this is our password and the container container name just leave it blank and click on login so this is our database home where you can see some uh, the, the chart and bars about your database activities but i think i don't find it that much useful so now we'll look at how you can uh, connect to your oracle 19c database using sql developer so for that i already downloaded sql developer so let me open my sql developer so here by default we can see this some uh, tns files which are detected by oracle sql developer so now let's edit this orcl so for that to right click on this one and go to properties so here what we have to change we have to change the user so here we have system user and the password is orcl which uh, we set in this while installation and say test so it says success and save it and let's connect and then say orcl so we are connected to our uh, orcl database so let's expand this so let's see what table we have so these are the default table which comes with this one so let's see if we have any other table or maybe no other tables now let's run some sql so i say select sys date from dual and just execute it so here we can see this one now let's create some table so create table then tb1 then c1 where care 10 and let's execute this the table is created so let's refresh this so if i scroll down here i can see my table tb1 so here it has column let's enter some data so i say hi and let's commit this now let's say select star from tb1 so here i can see this high the the output of my select statement so this is how you can connect to your uh, this oracle 19c database using oracle sql developer so you can create your tables and all of, and do a select or any any ddl operation on top of your tables yeah that's all for this oracle 19c instruction process so hope this video will help you to install oracle 19c on your windows system and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video